Today we're heading into Zara for the Ruigi Time Zara Spring Summer 2023 capsule. If you guys are unfamiliar, Ruigi is the creative director and founder of Rude. Recently named the head of menswear over at Bally's and responsible for a ton of streetwear trends, Ruigi has made himself a staple in the luxury streetwear community. Picking up from the momentum that came from the first release back in May of 2022, where Ruigi and Zara released the first 20 pieces of this collaboration, this latest capsule is built under the nomenclature cross country. Now there is a bit of a misconception with regard to what this collaboration is, R-U-H, and what it stands for. No, this is not a collaboration with Rude, but rather a collaboration with Ruigi, whose overall theme is to redesign human uniform. The first letter of each word serves as an acronym, R-U-H, which simultaneously are the first three letters of Ruigi's name. Drop 2 or the Cross Country Capsule is comprised of 20 ready to wear pieces geared to its male audience but whose silhouettes could definitely be seen as unisex. Drop 2 features a wide array of looks, silhouettes, and different styles of pieces, which do include everything from athletic wear to cargos to hats, denim pieces, tees, hoodies, button downs, polos, slides, nylon jackets, and much, much more. Now, out of the 20 pieces from this release, about five stuck out to me in particular, which ultimately led me to go ahead and trying them on. Beginning with the first piece, which was a fleece, this piece does fit pretty big for what it is. I did go ahead and throw on a small slash medium as the sizing was a little bit different in that uh, if you fell into that range of a small medium, you take that size, but if you wanted a large, extra large, that would be a size in and of itself. It does feature a thin mesh lining and comprised of contrasting fabric panel at a price point of $89.90. Found this piece to be pretty fairly priced. Next up, I did go ahead and throw on the RUH hoodie in green. This piece is a forest green, which I do find to be very nice and features a silhouette that is very, very cropped. And in addition to that, it does narrow down from the pits to the waist, which provides a fit that isn't necessarily boxy, but rather it's like almost the shape of like an upside down triangle, if that makes sense. Next up upon seeing the denim, I felt like this piece was extremely fire. I'm really loving flare and baggy denim right now. And so mixing the two, I thought this would be a match made in heaven, especially at that price point of $59.90. Unfortunately, because I wear a size nine, I feel like no matter what shoe in my wardrobe I would pair with these pants, I would be absolutely engulfed by how wide these pants finish. These pants would literally gobble up any shoes I tried to pair with them. Next, I was really, really enamored by the colors of the puffer vest. My goodness, on the hanger and on the mannequin, this thing is just beautiful. And so for that reason, I did go ahead and decide to try it on. And I don't know, for me personally, I just feel like it didn't look right. I mean, in theory, I thought this was going to be a piece that I would really, really like once tried on. But unfortunately, I just couldn't get myself to love it. There was a puffer, however, that I found to be probably in the, like the top three of all the pieces that I did see today. And it was the green puffer. I originally saw the photos online. I was like, wow, this thing looks very, very nice. And at a price point of, I think it was $129.90, I knew I was definitely going to have to try it on. Here I am wearing a small medium. I have said it already, I'm 5'7", weigh about 160 pounds. And I find that fits very, very complimentary. I love the details on this piece with regard to the stitching that goes all the way throughout. From the front to the back, I find this just to be a very, very nice piece. But with that, you guys tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think about this puffer. So I'd be interested in hearing if this is a piece that you are going to pick up. So as I mentioned, the puffer was top three for me. 
The top two for me were both leather pieces, which are actually made out of real leather. First, beginning with the zip-up leather jacket, I found this jacket to be really nice, especially with regard to the quality of leather used, especially relative to the price point of $259.90. Here, I am wearing a size medium and do find that this piece fits a very, very true. And as part of this collaboration, they did release a varsity jacket, which in my opinion is every bit as good if not better than from capsule one this varsity jacket does fit really nicely here i'm wearing a size medium and is also priced at 259.90 anyways at this juncture of the video you might be wondering paul what did you end up purchasing I'm glad that you ask my bag's right here so let's go ahead and show you so i ended up purchasing just two pieces from today's drop the hoodie in a size medium I really love the color of this hoodie and the color scheme overall. As you guys know, I'm kind of a sucker for this like golden mustard honey colored yellow. And for the last piece, I ended up picking up the puffer. I feel like at the price point that it was at of, I think it was 129, it's very, very good, namely due to the fact that it has so many cool details with regard to the stitching. But a subtle detail once you see this piece in person is that the nylon has like a dried effect to it almost emulating like a military nylon sleeping bag. And that ultimately wraps up what I did end up purchasing. Now, as I mentioned, I did really like the leather jackets, but I do anticipate them going on sale for up to 70% off. If you recall from capsule one, everything that didn't sell ended up being marked down 40%, then 50%, then 70% which ultimately did include the leather pieces from the last capsule. I already own quite a few leather jackets, so I am in no rush and happy to wait for that deal. Both pieces that I did end up purchasing in addition to the entire range is now available on the website and I'll have that linked below for your viewing pleasure. What's really cool is that they styled everything so you can shop looks. That's actually really convenient because a lot of these pieces are cut very uniquely, just like the hoodie I purchased, for example. For me personally, I do prefer to style more simple hoodies. I actually purchased the best 15 hoodies and rank them and link that video on the card right here.